Hello, this section is about reinforcement learning, primarily for game playing applications. In this section, we'll introduce reinforcement learning and how it works at a high level. We'll look at when we should use RL and what we need to know to use it. Then we'll look at popular Q learning algorithm, and move on to practice with RL algorithms using OpenAI Gym project. Finally, we'll use RL to learn how to play a game, again with the OpenAI Gym. First, we'll discuss how reinforcement learning works. This video covers RL from a high level. First, comparing it to supervised learning, which we've seen in prior videos, and then identifying what we need in order to use RL and a quick summary of the algorithm. Supervised learning and reinforcement learning are different approaches in machine learning. In supervised learning, such as identifying a photo as a dog or a cat, we have lots of training examples and we must know the true answer for every training example. In prior videos, particularly the video series Python Artificial Intelligence Projects for Beginners, we looked at supervised learning methods like decision trees, random forests, and neural networks. But suppose you don't have training examples. Suppose the problem has never been solved before and there's no training data. Then we might be able to use reinforcement learning. We need to know the kinds of actions that can be taken. We need to be able to observe at least some of the effects of the action. And we need to know if the effects of the action were good or bad. That's all we need. Consider the following example. Suppose you find yourself driving in snow and you never had to do this before. You have to learn as you go in the actual situation. You know you can turn the wheel and accelerate or brake. You observe changes you're causing, like your position and speed, and you get a sense of your situation is good or bad, i.e. you're staying in the lane or you're veering off the road. At first, you can only try random changes, like steering a little left or right or braking. But once you start observing the outcomes, you start to learn that some actions are more appropriate in certain situations than others. For example, if you get too much speed, you should slowly brake back to slow speed because otherwise you might slide off the ice. The reinforcement learning means that the system will start to associate actions with positive rewards, thus reinforcing the value of those actions over time. Actions with high reward associations will be more likely to be repeated in the future, which is essentially solving the problem. A classic scenario for reinforcement learning is the inverted pendulum, also known as the upside down broom or cart pull problem. When the AI is initialized, it knows nothing about how to keep the pendulum upright. It only knows it can move the cart left or right, and it can observe the current position and velocity of the pole as well as the position and velocity of the cart. As long as the pendulum has not fallen, the AI gets a plus one reward for each step or frame. The job of reinforcement learning is to figure out that if the pole is falling to the left, the cart should move left and vice versa. The animation shown here is from an example by Matthew Chan that learns over many simulations to keep the pendulum balanced. This code actually uses Q learning, which we'll look at later. At a high level, here's the algorithm for reinforcement learning. First, we need to know all the possible actions. We also need to know what the states are like and what we can observe. Then we need to start a simulation. So unlike driving in the snow, in AI, we need lots of repeated simulations to learn. It's very hard to learn as humans do on the fly and in the real world. Each repeat of the simulation is called an episode and the AI remembers what it learned across episodes, so it continually improves. When the first episode starts, all the AI can do is try a random action and see what happens. See what the reward is. If the episode ends because the pendulum falls or whatever, a new episode starts again. Eventually, the AI learns that certain actions in certain situations bring increased rewards. So over time, it's less likely to try just random actions, which is what we call exploration. The critical issue in reinforcement learning is how to identify the appropriate action for a given situation based on what has been tried and succeeded in the past. Reinforcement learning has been used to much success in game playing and robotics, among other things. In game playing, the actions are whatever can be done with the joystick or the keyboard or, or so on. And the states are the game states in display, and the rewards are the scores. In robotics, the robot can be a variety of actions or can take a variety of actions, like movements and grabbing things. And the states are its actual environment. The rewards accomplishing a certain task, like going somewhere or grabbing a thing. RL is sometimes seen as the solution to all AI problems, actually, just like machine learning was in the recent past. But the O'Reilly link provided has some realistic use cases. There are also several libraries in Python that can do RL. There are many varieties of RL, uh, different kinds of algorithms, that slight variants of each other. And the link on the bottom right has a good collection of those variations.